Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you, Lord, for another day, for this is the day you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. For greater is he that's in us than it is in the world, and we can do all things through Jesus the Christ who gives us strength. Heavenly Father, as we gather here today, one more time, Lord God, to meet in harmony right now, come together as one right now, Lord God, to partake of your supper, Lord Jesus. We pray that you just search our hearts right now, Lord God, Hear us while we pray, O oh God. If you see anything in us that's not of you, Lord Jesus, we ask you right now to remove it, Lord God. We pray that your kingdom come and your will will be done in our lives. Bless each individual on the Zoom meeting today. Bless their families right now, Lord God. Father God, and we pray that their territory will be enlarged. And we pray as we partake of your holy sacrament, Lord God, that it will be to our bodies healing, dear Lord God, and to our minds nourishing the Lord Jesus, and you continue to build us up and bind us together as one with cords that cannot be broken. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen, amen. 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 Bless, bless the Lord. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Gibson, for uh, that prayer. At, at this time, we're going to have a, a special uh, selection uh, by my youngest daughter all the way from Orlando, Florida, Sister Hannah Baker. Hannah, would you go right ahead, please? My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened, forever he will reign. My God is awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, my God is awesome. Awesome, 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 my God is awesome, Savior of the whole world. Giver of salvation, by his stripes I am healed. My God is awesome, today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living, praise his holy name. My God is awesome, 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 awesome. My God is awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. Amen again. All righty. Amen. We have any, any testimonies, any testimonies, anyone that has something they want to testify about on this Sunday afternoon, you go right ahead. Testimony time, go right ahead. There got to be one, there's about a dozen of, of us on the line here, there's got to be one. <laughs> Just wanna give God the glory, the thanks and the praise for one more day for keeping me alive, thanking him for my fine family and thank him for the Way Fellowship Church Thank the Lord for him just keeping us every day, even through this pandemic, he must be glorified. Just want to praise and bless his holy name. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Is there another one? Just shouting out how awesome God is, you know, like Sister Sandra said, yes, you know, he keep us and, um, you know, give us strength. He give us all that we need to get up in the morning, every morning. And we just want to thank him and praise him for that, for who he is. Just want to give him thanks and praise. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? I want to give God thanks um, for creating this balance in my life. And by balance, um, my job itself is um, very mentally stressful. Um, I handle employee relations and conflicts, but for some reason, at all times, um, God is there, if not by church, by the meetings that I've had this week, the different sessions and um, events that are all God covered. And so that created a mental balance for me. And for that, I give God thanks. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyone else? Anyone else want to boast about the awesomeness of God? Go right ahead. Well, uh, this is good of you, Pastor Baker, doing a communion virtually on Zoom. And it's good. And it's good to see you, like First Lady Christina, being turned around. Uh, she's she's <laughs> turned around. <laughs> yeah, my son told me that was upside down. <laughs> down. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Anyone else? Just a verse of the song. Go right ahead. I've got so much to thank God for so many wonderful blessings and so many open doors I brought you. Mercy, our Lord, with each new day. That's why I praise you. And for this, I give you the praise. Your Jehovah Jireh, you've been my provider. So many times you've met my needs, so many times you rescued me. I want to thank you for the blessings you give to me each day. That's why I praise you. That's why I praise you. For this, I give you the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Good to hear you sing, hear you sing again, Sister Marie. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. God bless you, Amen. Sister Marine. Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else? Don't want to leave anyone out. Just a testimony. A testimony. I'm grateful because, um, you know, like the the ocean moves and waves go back and forth, and sometimes I feel like I am. I'm a roller coaster up and down and all over the place, but I'm grateful because God is consistent. He is love. He is always love. He doesn't change. Even seasons change, time change with different things. He, he's very consistent. He is love. He is always love. So I'm extremely grateful for that. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Go right ahead, please. 
Get one of the young folks to uh, testify. Okay, anyone else? Testimony time almost over. Is there something you want to exalt and magnify the Lord with us? You go right ahead. Go right ahead. As the old timers would say, you know, dump the devil out of your lap and stand up and testify. <laughs> What's holding you back from testifying about the goodness of God? Go right ahead. Go right ahead, please. Okay, seeing none and hearing none other, we are uh, we're going to jump right into our uh, our, our time of, of communion. We're going to have uh, uh, Brother Eric uh, to pray over over the bread symbolic of the body of of Christ, and uh, and we're going to have Pastor Daryl. Uh, Baker, Brother Darrell Baker, to uh, uh, pray over the, the juice symbolic of the blood of Jesus Christ. Before we uh, move forward, I want to uh, re just reflect on the life of Jesus because Jesus told us to do this as often as we can, that we do this in remembrance of him. And so when we, when we remember our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we remember uh, how he walked upon this earth. We remember his birth. Um, we remember uh, how he showed love and, and how he healed and delivered so many people. And we remember ultimate, the ultimate sacrifice that he, that he did for each one of us. The Bible says, without the shedding of blood, uh, you and I can never say, Lord, forgive me of my sins and my shortcomings. And so Jesus was crucified and he shed his blood on this earth on, on Calvary's cross for the forgiveness of our sins. And we do know that the scripture teaches us that it was late Saturday night, it was early Sunday morning where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he rose from the grave. And because he rose from the grave, we can have life and have life more abundantly Be, because he rose from the grave. We can have power to do supernatural things uh, to what he did. We know the apostle Paul said that, that I might know him and the fellowship of his suffering. And so we know that in this, in this <clears throat> life that God has laid it all out. But Jesus in his very own words, he says, do this. This is what he told his disciples. He said, do this as often as you can. Do this in remembrance of me. So we pause right now as we have prepared our bread, symbolic of his body, as we prepared our juice, symbolic of his blood. We'll now have our first prayer before we partake of the body of Jesus Christ. Go right ahead, Pastor. Heavenly Father, most gracious Lord, we come to you today just saying thank you, Lord. Thank you for waking us up and starting us on our way. Father God, we thank you for your son who shared his blood on Calvary for the remission of our sins. We know that <clears throat> without the shedding of blood, there will be no forgiveness of sin. For, so for that, we say thank you, Lord. Father God, as we take this bread, Father God, we do it in remembrance of you. We know that your body was, was, was beaten and bruised, Father God, for us, for the iniquities of our sins, Father God, not because of your sins, because you are perfect. So, Father God, as we take this, let us remember, Father God, what was done on Calvary way back when just for us, Lord. We thank you, Father God, and we love you, Lord. It's in Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Let us take the bread. We partake in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This time we'll... Hear from uh, Pastor Darrell Baker. Uh, Pastor Darrell, go right ahead, please. Okay, I'm going to mute it. <clears throat> Father, we come to you this afternoon. Father, we want to lift up this juice, Father, that represents your blood. We take it, Father, for your blood was 
what you shed for the remission of our sins, Lord God, that our sins could be forgiven. And your blood was from a sinless body. They had shed bloods of lambs and goats and sheep and other animals. That wasn't the perfect sacrifice, but you gave it all, the perfect sacrifice of your blood that we would have remissions of our sins. So today, Father, in remembrance of what you word taught us to do, saying to do this as often until you come again. So Father, bless this juice, Lord God, representation of your blood. We get drink it in the name of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Partake and drink of the blood. Amen. 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 Let us partake together. Amen. 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 What I'd like to do as we prepare to close, to give uh, each family an opportunity to uh, bring greetings to the uh, to the to the church family. If 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 you will, if you would like to, uh, again, no one is uh, is being forced to do so. But uh, this has been a way that we've been able to at least see each, each other face and connect each month. So. Uh, <clears throat> Anyone, uh, uh, go right ahead. Sister Gibson, if you just start us off, please, if I can have you to do that, please. Sister Gibson, you're there. Hello there. <laughs> Greetings. Miss everyone, love you. God bless. Send you greetings. Amen. Amen. Next, go right ahead. Well, I'll jump in. Uh, I'll say it is so good to see these smiling faces, faces that not seen for quite some time. It, it puts a smile on my face. So I greet you in the name of myself, my wife, in our family, it is good to be fellowshipping virtually with you one more time. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Next, go right ahead, please. Hello, everyone. Um, I bring you greetings. This is uh, George and Yolanda, and I just got back in the house and I noticed I got a text with the uh, Zoom information on it. And so um, and so I clicked on it and not realizing that this was happening. So first thing I had to do is go put on some clothes because I'm at home by myself. And so um, I just want to say uh, greetings to all of you um, from the Ramsey family, from Orlando, and uh, I just thank God that we are still able to connect, uh, although we are apart. Uh, God is amazing. And, uh, you know, I continue to say and encourage others to look for ways that he is blessing us, even in these times, and to acknowledge him in all our ways. And, uh, and I pray that uh, soon we will be able to embrace uh, each other again. It is so, um, it's almost weird not even being able to shake people's hands anymore. I'm a touchy feely kind of guy and I just miss hugging people. And so I'm looking forward to hugging you guys again and embracing and being able to laugh and to share and to, and to really, um, you know, express, um, how much it means to be among the living. And so uh, again, uh, my wife is out, she's not here. And so, but I do wanna say uh, greetings from the Ramsey family. Keep praying for us. You know, we're having our own challenges. So so ask your church to keep praying for us and we'll, we'll do the same for you guys. Thank you. Amen, brother Ramsey, God bless you, God bless you. Next, go right ahead. There's some closing remarks. Amen. 
Uh, how's everybody doing? Bobby Baker. And I just want to say hi to everyone. I um, haven't too long got home from work and glad to see everybody on the Zoom and just asking everybody to stay safe and uh, keep praying. And, and thank God for being among the living this morning. Somebody didn't wake up this morning, but thank God we were among the ones that were able to put on our shoes up, put on our own shoes, put on our own pants and, and just... Uh, I'm uh, here to praise God. So everybody, greetings. Thank you, Brother Baker. Uh, next, go right here, please. Um, I'd like to say um, hello to everyone. Uh, greetings to everyone from the Robinson family. Um, just um, just like everyone said, just thankful to be alive and, and um, just um, looking for a great week. And I pray that everybody has a, a great week um, this week coming up. And um, let us just remember to continue to pray for um, those that's dealing with, you know, with this disease, you know, those that's in the White House and those in our own homes and our own families and our own friends. Um, the, the scriptures say that we should even pray for, our in, you know, that we should even love our enemies. So um, let's just continue just to um, continue to lift up those that's dealing with this uh, sickness and disease. But like I said, I'd like to just bring you greetings from the Robinson family. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pastor Robson. So good to see you. Next, go right ahead. So again, greetings from this morning and family to everyone. It's so good to see you. I was out at church this morning, a very good feeling to be back in the house of the Lord. He has kept us and we are eternally grateful for that. And I just want to confirm, just, um, I was just right in time for that message with Pastor to remain where you are. I was studying in the book of Kings where um, the prophet Elijah was um, given an instruction by God to go down to Brook Cherith and remain there. And the Lord did also promise him that he doesn't have to worry about what he will eat or what he or what he will um because he will what he will eat because god says i will provide i will command i'm sorry the ravens to drop your bread and flesh in the morning and your bread and flesh in the evening and what is so profound about that is that ravens god could have used um any other bird but when when i studied into it it shows that the lord used the raven and raven is known, they're very ravished birds and they don't come back. And another um, account of that, why you know that ravens doesn't come back is because when Noah sent the raven out in the ark to figure out whether there was dry land, the raven didn't come back. And so he had to send a dove and the dove came back. So if God can command a raven, a bird that doesn't come back, to drop your bread and flesh in the morning and in the evening, then we know that if he commands us to stay where we are and remain there, then, it, then we need to just do that. And as I said, I'm just confirming with the message this morning that we just need to remain where we are and know that God is our protector, is our provider. He, he, can, he can move mountains. He can, you know, he, he can do everything. He can do um, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ever imagine or ask for. So I just want to say, family, really nice to see you all again. And um, that's a confirmation of the word. Remain where God placed you. Amen. 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 I uh, appreciate that. So, so good to see you. And and Robin and, and Joshua, you know, you all don't know this, but, uh, but I'm in Joshua's uh, Hall of Fame. <laughs> Joshua, Joshua uh, uh, put in the atmosphere uh, when he was a little boy, Joshua, I don't know if you remember saying this, but Joshua told some folks that I was the best pastor in the world. Uh, no one ever told me that before. 
Joshua, uh, you're a man after the pastor's heart. God bless you. Next person, go right ahead, please. Well, I just want to thank all those who reach out to me to show some love. I know sometimes, you know, um, one is expected of the pastor or the first lady to always call and check up on, you know, the, pe the people of God. But I really appreciate those who reach out to me and um, show some love. So I thank God for you guys. Amen. Next, go right ahead, please. Any anyone else? I'm I'm sure my mom. I haven't we haven't graduated to teaching her how to mute and unmute, but I'm sure she wish she could uh, uh, extend her greetings to all of you. So, mom, I've I've spoken for you. She sends her love to all of you. Next, go right ahead. We're almost finished. Anyone else? Anyone else? Just want to say hi to everybody and love you all and hope to see you guys soon. Can we see those beautiful kids? Is it possible for us to see those beautiful kids? Uh, this is, um, is this Gideon? Gideon? Hi, Gideon. We can't see them, Pastor, because you're talking. Gideon, Ryan, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. Where's Leah? Oh, Leah's working on craft in her room. Well, give her our love, please. <laughs> okay. God bless you guys. Anyone else? Yeah, I like to send air hugs and kisses from the other bakers, Daryl and Dolores. Excellent. Uh, don't want to miss anyone. If you're able to go right and speak, or we are going to prepare to adjourn. I'm going to have uh, brother, brother Kevin Young, if he will close us out in prayer. Uh, again, if anyone else, if you go ahead and share. We're about to close out and about to close out in prayer. Anyone else? Okay, not not hearing anyone. God bless you all. So good to 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 see each one of you. Let's continue to pray one for another. Keep each other lifted up and in, in, in prayer. Thank you all so much for tuning in and zooming in. Uh, Brother Young, go right ahead, please. Gracious and Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time of fellowship and for bringing us together. We thank, we, we, we pray, oh God, that as we head on on another week, Father God, to face the world's trials and tribulation, that we will understand that the, the, the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God for the pulling of strong of Father God. So give us the strength and the ability to persevere in this time, in these times and in these seasons that we're in, Father God. I pray for everyone on the line, Father God, that you will power them, Father God, with your Holy Spirit and that you will cover them with your blood and that you will keep them in every way in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for those who, who, who have family members and, and our friends that are sick, Father God, we pray, God, that your healing power is, that is not uh, that has no limits, Father God, is going to reach out and touch them and heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have loved, lost loved ones in this time, Father God, I pray, oh God, that you will give them comfort and peace, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. We thank you, oh God, for all that you're doing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And amen. Amen, amen, amen. Can everybody open up their, open up their mics? And on the count on the count of three, we all gonna say amen, okay? <laughs> off. Amen. Amen. On the, amen. On the count, amen. On the count amen. of three. Amen. Count Hallelujah. Two. One, amen. two, three. Amen. 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 Have a blessed week.
God right. bless you, you all. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>